Do you think you might win and take home an award? Are you watching alone? Did we flatten the curve? Shall we read out the ballots and see how you scored? Will all nominees get the praise they deserve? It's the Merit Awards, it's the Merit Awards. Everyone wants a Merit Award, a meritorious Merit Award. It's the Pandemic Merit Awards, the esteemed Robert Merit Awards. All right, Nova Scotia, here we go! The Merit Awards! Hello and welcome to the 2020 Theatre Nova Scotia Merit Awards Pandemic Edition. We are coming to you tonight, coming to you tonight, sponsored by Nova Scotia Gaming with support for culture. We've got a live studio audience of exactly one, Nancy Morgan. And by a satellite, we've got Ken Schwartz. Looking good, Ken. And for those of you who may be joining us from home, let me tell you, the energy in this room, well, it's palpable. My name is, of course, Kat McCormick. I'll be your voice and face of God for the evening. And it is now my honor and duty to introduce to you our mystery host for the evening. Who and where could they be? This person is an actor, a comedian, a dungeon master, an occasional barista, Neptune Theater once called him the future of Neptune Theater in an overzealous marketing campaign that he has not shut up about since. Please welcome the king of the goats, Henrik Askas! Hello! Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Theater Nova Scotia Merit Awards. I'm just going to put this over here. Good night, Grand Percy. Different. Work acquaintances, uh, complete strangers, local legends, Personal heroes, mortal enemies, theater crushes. Welcome to the Merit Awards. Uh, well, what a wonderful crowd you all are. Look at all of you out here right now. Yes, I know I can't actually see you. It's just us here. But I know for a fact, and I'm conjuring now in my mind's eye, all the theater Nova Scotia hotties, all the, the, the beautiful people in our, in our wonderful theater community. And that's all of you. You all look so great. Uh, I can't wait to see your looks on the red carpet when I have a chance to check it out. Uh, but, before we do anything else, I would like to acknowledge that we here are uh, in Mi'kmaq, the ancestral and unceded land of the Mi'kmaq people, who are the original caretakers of this land. Though, through the magic of online broadcasting, we may be reaching farther out than our usual award ceremonies, so I would like to acknowledge the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, the Huron-Wendat, the Mississaugas of Credit First Nation, and the Maliseet people of Lestakiak territory, and really all indigenous nations on Turtle Island who for generations have been on the front lines fighting to protect these lands. As we have more and more time to reflect on the values that we as a community want to see reflected in our nation on a larger scale, 
Let's continue. Let's continue to keep in mind the first people who have given so much and are giving so much and need our support now more than ever. Uh, let's send it over to Theatre Nova Scotia Board Chair Elizabeth Murphy, who has a few people she would like to thank before we start handing out these awards figuratively from a safe distance. Good evening, everyone. I want to acknowledge that this broadcast originates in Mi'kmaq, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Tonight, we are gathered electronically to celebrate what we've accomplished together in 2019. While we can't be together as we've been for the previous 18 years of the Merit Awards, we can still celebrate and remind each other that we are a resilient, creative and vibrant community. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge what many of us are currently experiencing in the midst of this pandemic. An unprecedented number of colleagues are suddenly out of work and our sector is in uncharted waters. I want all of you to know that Theatre Nova Scotia is and will be collaborating with many partners to get vital information to our members about assistance as it becomes available. I recognize this is a very hard time and while we celebrate 2019 tonight, none of us have lost track of what a difficult 2020 this is proving to be. I want to thank the jurors for their extraordinary efforts. I also want to thank the staff at Theatre Nova Scotia who worked tirelessly to bring this ceremony together under ever-changing and exceptional circumstances. It would have been easy to abandon this evening in the face of the crisis. Nobody would have questioned it. But Theatre Nova Scotia staff, Nancy Morgan, Aaron Taylor, and Kyle Vingo Cram, along with producer Ken Schwartz, our host, Henricus Gillis, and Voice of God, Kat McCormick, rolled up their sleeves and would not quit. I am so proud that we are still bringing this evening to you. If you are watching this ceremony for the first time, perhaps from a great distance, I want to welcome you to the Nova Scotian professional theatre community. We look forward to seeing you at the theatre in the future, because we'll be back. For a few hours this evening, we invite you to celebrate with us. Celebrate art, creativity, talent, tenacity, your colleagues, and our supporters. Regardless of the nominee list, in 2019, hundreds of designers, directors, performers, creators, producers, technicians, and stage managers collaborated and continue to challenge themselves, inspire their audiences, and enrich us all through their work. As chair of the board of Theatre Nova Scotia, it brings me great pleasure to announce that Nova Scotia Gaming, through the Support for Culture program, is still Theatre Nova Scotia's merit program sponsor. Their contribution helps to make not only this evening possible, but will help to support the year-long marathon of time, energy, and funding necessary to operate the Merit Awards program. On behalf of us all, I want to thank them and all of our other generous sponsors for valuing us and the importance of our work. I would now like to introduce Bob McKinnon, CEO and President of the Nova Scotia Gaming Por Corporation, sorry about that, Corporation, who has some words of welcome to you all. Good evening, everyone. My name is Bob McKinnon, and I'm the President and CEO of Nova Scotia Gaming Corporation. Like many of you, I am working from home. Like some of you, I have teenagers in the house, which is why I am out here. A big welcome to everyone to this year's 2020 Robert Merritt Awards. I would also like to thank everyone for tuning in as this year's award ceremony is presented online. I believe this demonstrates to the incredible resiliency and camaraderie of the arts community in Nova Scotia. Hats off to Theatre Nova Scotia and their team of dedicated producers. I guess the show must go on. 
At Nova Scotia Gaming, we know that theatre is essential to vibrant communities in Nova Scotia. We are proud to support this community through our Support for Culture program and look forward to continuing this support for many years to come. Congratulations to all of the nominees and thank you for shaping a cultural identity that Nova Scotians are proud of. Good night and be safe. There's so much power in this place when you walk through the door. We're an international children's puppetry company. We go all over the world. We go to China, we go to Singapore. And we represent Nova Scotia wherever we go. We promote Nova Scotia wherever we go. Support for culture is extraordinary. It makes our work possible. And if you have a vibrant arts community, those that are looking at moving somewhere, that's a part of what they're looking for. Hi again, everyone. I'm very honored and intimidated to be your host tonight. I originally wrote a sonnet to reveal myself as the mystery host, because I know Ken loves that sweet, sweet iambic pentameter. I'm just going to go ahead and read it. What's happening? What's happening right now? Did you know I was this year's Merit host? Put your hands up. Who knew that it was me, the Robert Merritt host? 20, 20. Who told? who let the cat out of the bag. I only told my closest of dear friends, my mother, Gina, our dear voice of God, the incomparable genius, Mr. Williams. I think that you should stop speaking in verse. Who are you trying to impress, Dan Bray? And if my verse would only slay Dan Bray, my okay Dan Bray slay shall stay, I say. Ugh. I clearly wrote a lot of my material before everything's changed, and well, now everything's changed. Yes, well, honestly, I'm just relieved that you cut your Danbury love poem. Oh, thank you. Al, what can I say? I'm a sucker for a beard with some wit attached uh, to it. What's happening, Kat? How you been? Well, look, I'm going to be real, Henry. The skin on my hands is completely dead. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I uh, went to the Compass Distiller. We have a bunch of lovely uh, sponsors tonight. Um, sp liquor sponsors. They're liquor sponsors. That's what they are. Liquor sponsors. Yeah. You heard it here first. You asked for uh, some gin. I did. And I wanted whiskey. Mm. So I went and picked us up a bottle of Fort George Ginever, which is kind of like both. Mm. It's a little bit, it's a precursor to gin that uh, wow. is made like a whiskey. Huh. So um, to the queen. To the queen. All right. Ah. Mm. Now, those of you um, with a keen ear may have heard me mention our musical accompanist, Gary Williams, who uh, is either at this moment in Germany or uh, in here, not here, but, you know, here, locally. In who knows He's anymore. in self-isolation is where he is because he was in Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, let's check in with him really quick. How are you, Gary? Hi there, Henry. And hello, uh, Merit audience, nominees. Uh, oh, perfect timing. Uh, this is the church bell. I'm near my mother's apartment uh, in Berlin, Germany, where I have been um, staying in self isolation. Uh, I'm booked on a flight tomorrow morning. And I hope to return to Halifax uh, safely and healthily. And uh, when I have a piano, I will um, see what I come up with. <laughs> All right, bye. Thank you so much for being here with us, Gary. Uh, and thank you everyone for tuning in and partying with us from a safe distance tonight. I know these may not be the merit awards we're used to, but honestly, what are the merit awards? I mean, aside from the actual trophies that a few of us have the honor of receiving, um, what, what is this event? Uh, you know, we've been doing it for 19 years now. I've been lucky enough to attend uh, four of them and now I'm hosting my fifth. It feels different every time. You know, does it feel different to you every time? No. Really? It feels okay. like the same, same slog. <laughs> Yeesh. Well, I'm a little more optimistic. I, maybe, is this live? Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's the people I sit with. Maybe it's the table. Maybe it's the shows that year. Maybe. It could be the host I'm usually every okay, year. So. You know, I can't remember who hosted the first time that I, uh, went to the merits, so that means it was probably Marty Burt. Correct. 
Um, I was still a student at Dalhousie. I didn't know anyone. I didn't know any of you. I didn't know you or you or, or, or you. Uh, you know, it was the, that was the night, though, that I met Gina Thornhill, my partner. Uh, can we go to the Gina cam really quick? Let's cut to that Gina cam. There's Gina at home with my sister and our cat, Marnie. Oh, and there's me in my pajamas, oh. waving as well to the camera. Huh. Um, yeah, uh, we can cut back, let's cut back. Uh, yeah, so uh, all of our videos are obviously pre-recorded before tonight um, for, for the Merit Awards, uh, all the cutaways that we're doing. Uh, yeah, so we yep. filmed that. We filmed that a while ago. Hello, future people. That's not the, the copy anymore. I should have changed that. <laughs> you gave me one line. <laughs> ah, carry on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, uh, Kat, you've been the voice of God for for a few years now. Yeah, I sure uh, have. Yeah. You've been a judge. Yes. A jury. It's a jury, not a judge. Jury. Yeah. Yeah, jury. Yeah. I should say the right words. You've been nominated a couple of times. Yeah. One time losers, my dad would happily tell you. Oh, nice. I'm happy that your dad has a bit with you. Um, how, would you uh, how would you describe the awards? What do they mean to you? Uh, literally nothing. Nothing? But a paycheck. Really? Thanks, Ken Schwartz. Oh, hey, that's, that. that's nice. Um, did you know Robert Merritt? I didn't, actually. You didn't? You were, no. you were in the scene? He was gone before you were in the scene? Yes, yeah. Okay. I never had the honor of meeting him myself. Uh, he shuffled off this mortal coil when I was six. Wow. Yeah, three years later, we named these awards after him. Mm -hmm. I did look him up on Wikipedia. He taught at Dalhousie, yeah. uh, and I quote, uh, he was a well-known person for challenging the conventions of mainstream theater and encouraging his many students to find their own artistic voices. The Wikipedia yeah. quote. Uh, he was a film critic for CBC Radio Morning, and also he had a penchant for wordplay. There's a lot of really good ones online. You can look them up. He's, uh, he's got a lot of good uh, stuff. Cute. I bet he would have loved that his uh, name is the name for these awards. Like the whole pun is just built into it, right? I mean, like he, they're called the merits. He's the merit. It's all about merit. And I want to say right off the hop, before we give any of these awards away, that even though we're only going to give out a few double R, double T merits tonight, that doesn't mean that you can't share a little merit of your own. Uh, let's bring up that slide. <laughs> yeah, the quality of being particularly good or worthy, especially so as to deserve Praise or reward. That's the definition of merit, one R, one T, not what we're giving out tonight. And here's that sentence. Even though you didn't win a merit, I saw a lot of merit in the work you shared. Mm, good. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I was on the jury this year. Uh, it's an incredible daunting experience and I couldn't recommend it enough. Uh, my favorite part of the whole experience, all of it, the whole year going to see shows all across the province. Uh, was seeing the nominations get announced and then watching everyone share their reactions online, celebrating those who were nominated, shouting from the virtual rooftops who was snubbed, how much we loved them. It was really cool. It was really cool to see everyone talk about who and what they liked over the past year. And I am proud of the final nominations that we came up with. Uh, I think they represent the wide variety of things that we, the six-headed theater-loving jury monster, all found outstanding this year. Uh, but the merit jury is not the be-all, end-all of Nova Scotian theater. It's a little ironic uh, that as an industry all about being in a room together, we can't be in a room together right now to tell everyone about how much we loved uh, this year in theater. There was a mouse. There was a mouse. We got spooked by a real mouse. Use the cat yeah, mask. Look, it's, the cat it's mask. coming over. It's it. Uh, it's, it's ironic is that we can't all be in the room together. But gosh darn it, if we can't make it feel like we're all here in the room together right now, I want everyone to get on Instagram and share your merit party with us. Uh, tell us who you think deserves a merit this year, nominated or not. You know, use them stories. Use the, I don't know how to use them. I'm gonna do my best to learn how to use them by the time. That's super zoom yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, I wanna hear uh, whose work you love this year. Uh, you can uh, take at Theater Nova Scotia in your stories. Uh, use the hashtag uh, merit2020. Um, and then we wanna, we're gonna share it all. We're gonna put a big story up on the Theater Nova Scotia Instagram page and have everyone be all together in one place. It's a great way to check in with everyone else who's uh, staying safe at home in this crazy, crazy, lovely time that we all are doing to take care of each other. Also, if you dress up fancy, get out to the virtual red carpet carpet with uh, fashion expert Avery Jean Brennan, a uh, wonderful friend of the Nova Scotia Theatre community. Um, uh, and we're going to follow all that, too, and we'll, we'll be able sharing some of that as well on the Theatre Nova Scotia Instagram. Uh, share how dressed up you all are. You all look so great. How am I doing, Avery Jean? Is, is the blue suit too tame? Uh, is, is the wooden bow tie too much? And we're, we're going to check in with the queen of the red carpet later. But remember, everyone, they say there's no accounting for taste. 
So let's go ahead and try anyway. Are we ready to give away some merits, Kat? Oh, heck yes we are. You want to do the first one? Well, yes. So we've asked every nominee to send in their acceptance speeches, and as we announce the winners throughout the night, we'll share their hopefully thoughtful words on our social media pages and for people to go back and read. Okay, who's first? <clears throat> Up first! From projector beams to park hands, ERS to LED, lighting designers have a whole arsenal of tools to trick the eye and dazzle the crowd. But their true power lies in their ability to affect our hearts and minds so deeply without ever making a sound. Here are the nominees for outstanding lighting design. Leanne Vardy, The Bridge, 2B Theater and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Vicki Williams, The Children, Keep Good Theater Company. Leanne Vardy, The Color Purple, Neptune Theater. Ingrid Risk, The Last Wife, Neptune Theater. Vicki Williams, Peter Pan, Neptune Theater. Oh my God, and just like that, we're here? Yeah. And the winner is? <laughs> you ripped it. The first it's one. Leanne Vardy for The Bridge. To be theater with Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Congratulations. You can read her thoughtful words on our social media. Uh, I am of an opinion that stage managers are the spines of each production. Uh, they connect everything together, they keep us on our toes, and are always the ones that tell us to get back to work. Right? Didn't approve that. The back, the spine gets the back. <laughs> to... hey, okay. Uh, the uh, winner for the Outstanding Stage Manager Award <laughs> is Robin Monroe, Frankenstein by Fire, Two Points in a Passion Theater. Congratulations, Robin, on uh, Outstanding Stage Manager. We have another one, another one before we jump. Oh my God, it just keeps happening. <clears throat> it was the philosopher Erasmus who yeah. once said, yeah. Vestus boom facet. The clothes make the man. I didn't know you knew Latin. I wrote that myself, You know, sure. I, uh, I uh, know, I know a little bit of Latin myself. Go ahead. Uh, Sturcus usu venit. Go ahead. Uh, dung, it comes to pass. Mm. Shit happens. <laughs> Shit <laughs> happens, cat. So you were doing a joke about clothes making men? Uh, I was. Uh, now, <laughs> if costume designers make the clothes, uh -huh. then it is their work that elevates our theater to godliness. Oh, true. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Costume Design. Rachel Forbes, The Bridge, 2B Theater with Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Tamara Marie Kutrin, The Color Purple, Neptune Theater. Kaylin McDonald, Fox, The Villains Theater. Janet McClellan, The Last Wife, Neptune Theater. And Emlyn Murray, Missin' Me, Eastern Front Theater. Holy jeez, here we go, the winner is, oh lord, it's really... Tamara Marie Kutrin for The Color Purple at Neptune Theater. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, now, um, yeah, this is, uh, we know people are excited about this next one because it was the first thing Theatre Nova Scotia shared online when the nominees came out. Outstanding performance by an actor in a leading role. Uh, as the acting awards are generalist this year, uh, we have twice as many nominees as usual uh, and two winners to announce. Mm -hmm. So we both get one of these. Here you go. Thank you, Henry. Uh, <laughs> now these are the actors that take center stage to embody the heart of the story they tell. They live the lives uh, of their uh, characters on stage. They are the faces in the photographs and the voices that bring the story to life. Uh, here are the nominees for Outstanding Actor in a Leading Role. Do you want to start? We'll go back and forth. Yes. Jacob Sampson, John Solomon, The Bridge, 2B Theater and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Aronico Sajnani, Aja, A Brimful of Aja, Festival Aniganish Summer Theater. Maura Lee Austin as Rose, The Children, Keep Good Theater Company. Martha Irving as Hazel in The Children, Keep Good Theater Company. 
Tara Jackson as Celie in The Color Purple at Neptune Theater. Burgundy Code. Claude. Burgundy Code. <laughs> it happens, the first one. Sorry, Burgundy. Burgundy Code as Claudius in Hamlet, Below the Salt. Jackie Torrance as Hamlet in Hamlet with Below the Salt. Burgundy Code uh, as Dr. Thomasina Burke in In This Light, Two Planks in a Passion Theater. Taylor Olson as Adam slash Various in Monster at That's Us Theater. Uh, Kelly Holliff as Hook in Peter Pan, Neptune Theater. Uh, and the winners are... Oh my gosh. Two Can awards. we just say it at the same time? No, we do one at a time. Oh, don't mind. Tara Jackson, The Color Purple, Neptune Theater. And Jacob Sets in The Bridge, 2B, and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Congratulations. We'll post all their speeches uh, on the internet, of course. And now, a special presentation of an award from Lindsay Kite. Creating a theatrical work is a terrifying, exhilarating, and vulnerable process. You start with nothing, and you invent this whole universe full of rules that must be consistently followed, and full of characters, and situations, and landscapes that you made up. And then you've got to turn this whole thing over to a bunch of other people, some of whom might look at what you've created and say, do you know what this scene needs? a dinosaur. We playwrights are therefore in great need of those who will nurture our vision and stand up for us, or who'll show up with a bottle of wine when the universe we're creating just isn't working. And we're pretty sure we're the only people this has happened to in the whole history of time. Pam Halstead is a fierce champion of us playwrights. And for women playwrights, having somebody like Pam on your side is crucial. Things are getting better thanks to hard work on everybody's part, but with somebody like Pam on your side, sometimes you say a little bit more in the meeting. And that's because you know that Pam's got your back and she will give you everything she has in order to make your work happen. She'll give you her time, her energy, her insight, her cat, her dog, her house, Rob, whatever it is you need. And most importantly of all, <laughs> She will kick your goddamn arse if you don't do the thing you said you're going to do. And she'll do it with this phrase, don't you take any horseshit. I'll tell you, for me, the scariest thing in my life is having to face Pam Halstead after not doing the thing that she has given me an arse kicking about. You know what, that fear is so great, I'd rather do the thing that's scary than face Pam Halstead not doing the thing. So therefore, in appreciation of all that, I am beyond thrilled to do the local presentation of the Bredore Award to our Pam Halstead. The Bredore Award recognizes an individual for their efforts in supporting and promoting the work of Canadian women playwrights. The Women's Caucus of the Playwrights Guild of Canada presented the Bredore Award to Pam in their Toronto Awards Ceremony in October 2019. And we are so pleased to be able to use the Merit Awards tonight to be able to do the local presentation and celebrate Pam ourselves. So let's, um, let's all have a toast to not taking any horseshit as playwrights because of our Pam Halstead. I, I don't actually have the award here. So I made one myself. All right, let's have a drink to Pam Halstead. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Lindsay Kite. Woo! Yes, thank you. Welcome back to the 2020 Mary Lords, Glitz, Glam. Can you even believe it's happening like this? We cut away from one video segment and it's like we did a commercial break. Yes, we did. Um, we moved our this. microphone for those of you who have keen ears so that you can hear us both better now. Uh, you notice any differences? Ooh. Mm, yes. Now, though we may not always notice, the sounds around us tell us so much about the world we live in. Ooh. And the sound designers capture those sounds and stuff them into little black box and make a beautiful collage with them to bring more life to the worlds we make on stage. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Sound Design. Erin Collier, Bed and Breakfast, Ships Company Theater. Tori Morrison, The Children, Keep Good Theater Company. Michelon Rodriguez, The Color Purple, Neptune Theater. Erin Collier, Low or Dear Mr. Wells, Neptune Theater. Erin Collier, Missing Me, Eastern Front Theater. And the winner for Outstanding Sound Design is Aaron Collier, Low or Dear Mr. Wells, Neptune Theater. Um, uh, now let's move right on. I came to uh, theater through the art of improvisation, so my theater sets are usually a few stage blocks and some really shitty my work. Check it out. It's really shitty mime work. It's not good at all. It's not good. <laughs> it was bad. Uh, it was bad. I, I'm always astonished, astonished to see the detail that goes into creating these playgrounds for stories in such a wide variety of different styles. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Scenic Design. Rachel Forbes, The Bridge, 2B Theater and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Stephen Osler, assisted by Patricia Van Leeuwen, The Children, Keep Good Theater Company, Tamara Marie Kucherin, The Color Purple, Neptune Theater, John Dinning, Noises Off, Neptune Theater, and Jess Lewis and Anna Shepard for the video for Tiny by Zupa Theater Co. presented by Eastern Front Theater. And the winner is? <laughs> Forget. Rachel Forbes, The Bridge, 2B Theater and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Congratulations, Rachel. Uh, they say many hands make the light work, and though most of us probably only have two hands, I wouldn't be surprised to hear that our theater technicians have a couple extra in the secret, you know, three or four hands total. Look, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, technicians do an incredible job using their many hands to make everything go as smoothly as possible behind the scenes. This year's award for Outstanding Technician goes to Thomas Brooks, The Last Wife, Neptune Theater. Congratulations, Thomas. Uh, yeah, Just for Thomas. Just for Thomas. Nobody else. Um, all right. Uh, and now we start the uh, the pre-recorded segment of the awards. Uh, I got a few videos to, to, to line up. To kick it off, why don't we toss it over to Artistic Director of Neptune Theater, Jeremy Webb, to talk more about the Chrysalis Award. Hi everyone. In the brief couple of years since her arrival in Halifax, the winner of this year's Chrysalis Award has made a big impact on the province's theatre community. She has worked as a lighting and projection designer, as an actor, an assistant director, a technician, and as 2B Theatre's Emerging Artist in Residence for 2018-19. She also created a projection installation for the 29th edition of Nocturne. She co-designed lights for 2B's world premiere production of One Discordant Violin, while also mentoring under Nick Bottomley as projection designer and Anne-Marie Kerr and Anthony Black as co-directors. She did deliver a standout performance in Eastern France's Great Harbour. She has quickly distinguished herself as a projection designer, working with Zupa Theatre, New Pants Project, Eastern Front Theatre and Mastic Theatre. She's currently part of Neptune Theatre's own director's unit of the RBC Chrysalis program, working as assistant director to both Marcia Cash for the last five years and Nigel Sean Williams for Controlled Damage. This year's worthy recipient of the 2020 RBC Chrysalis Award is Anna Shepard. Congratulations, Anna. Each year, we take a moment to recognize colleagues that have passed away over the past year. 
Robert Doyle passed away in November at the age of 82. Not only was Robert Doyle a prominent set and costume designer in Canada who contributed to more than 500 theatre productions, he was Neptune Theatre's first costume designer and the founder of Dalhousie University's renowned and unique costume studies program. He transitioned to set and costume design after leaving his dance career with the Royal Winnipeg Ballet due to a knee injury. His formal studies took him to the Wimbledon School of Fine Arts Theatre Division. It was there he researched 18th century civilian and military clothes, which served him well during his involvement with the restoration of Fortress Louisburg in Cape Breton. He authored a number of books on costuming, including Wasted Efforts, an Illustrated Guide to Corset Making, and was instrumental to the success of the Nova Scotia Tattoo. His career achievements were recognized by the investment to the Order of Canada in 2007. On behalf of the theatre community in Nova Scotia, I want to take this moment to remember Bob and his lifetime of accomplishment. Tom Kerr, who was Neptune Theatre's Artistic Director from 1983 to 1986, and again from 1989 to 1990, passed away last week. I wrote something about Tom on Facebook, and Theatre Nova Scotia asked if I would read it on video for the merits. I first met Tom when he came to direct at Neptune Theatre in the 1980s, at the request of his friend John Neville. It was apparent that Mr. Neville had a tremendous amount of respect for Tom's directing talent, and when it became time for a new artistic director at Neptune, Tom seemed to be a natural successor. Those days were the heydays for attendance at Neptune. Mr. Neville built a subscription base up over 9,000 each year, which meant every show had about 70% attendance before single tickets went on sale, and Tom was able to maintain those numbers over his years as Neptune's AD. I'd started to work at Neptune's box office in my second year of university, and shortly thereafter became their front of house manager. When Tom became artistic director, he was actually called theater director back then, I was also coordinating Neptune's tours, but was looking for other challenges and was offered the job as Tom's assistant. In the next three years, I learned most of what I know about theater and will be forever grateful. It didn't take me long to be amazed that Tom seemed to have friends right across the country that would do anything for him, but it also soon became apparent why that was. He had friends who would do anything for him because they knew he would do anything for them. When Kimberly and I were buying our first house, I remember talking to Tom about it and he immediately said, do you need any money? Now we didn't need any money and we wouldn't have taken any even if we did, but I had no doubt that if I would have said yes, he only would have asked how much. A few years earlier, when Tom and his partner Glenn were living in an apartment just up the street from mine, I asked if they would uh, go down once a day and feed my cat while I was away for a week at Christmas. When I arrived back, there was no cat. I phoned Tom and he told me that she had looked lonesome, so they took her up to their apartment for the holidays. When I, up to, when I went up to get her, she looked very much at home and I was told that she seems to like oysters as treats. I believe I owe my career in theater to Tom. If it hadn't been for him being my biggest booster, I would not have gotten to be general manager at Neptune, and my only other talent seemed to be drinking beer. As much as I appreciate what Tom taught me about theatre, I appreciate even more what he showed me about friendship. This world was a better place because of Tom, and I'm very sad he is no longer with us.
Good evening, my name is Garrett Barker, and I have the honor this year of presenting the West Daniels Award. The West Daniels Design Award is given annually to a theater company to subsidize for a given production the hiring of an emerging theater professional who has demonstrated a strong artistic sensibility in the field of theater design. I realize many of you may not have had the uh, chance to work with or meet Wes Daniels before he passed away some years ago, um, but he was a good friend. Uh, he was a, a creative designer uh, and an all-around good guy. Um, I spent the past couple of days looking through some old emails and texts to um, try to find something that I could uh, uh, show you as a, uh, um, to get a sense of his character. Um, I found one that I'd like to read for you now. I'm not sure how much of this uh, can make it into the uh, final cut, um, but I'll work that out with Nancy Morgan later. Uh, hey Garrett, I'm spending the weekend up on the North Mountain and just saw a dude sh out his window. Uh, hoping to get to a cattle auction later, uh, wondering if you want to come check it out. They're always and you can really good there on uh, then we'd be uh, the really little ones, um, with marsupials, with their and and put in their and hang and boobs. Anyway, have fun. Wes, P.S. Well, Anyway, on to the award. This year's West Daniels Design Award is being given to Matchstick Theatre to engage Wesley Babcock on their upcoming production of Toronto, Mississippi by Joan McLeod. <laughs> Thank you and good night. Hello, my name is Andrew Chandler, and I'm the Vice Chair of the Board of Theatre Nova Scotia. The Theatre Nova Scotia Legacy Award honours an individual or organization who has made an outstanding contribution to professional theatre in Nova Scotia. This year's recipient is one who has had a hand in helping Nova Scotian theatre artists create work for decades. It is my great pleasure, on behalf of Theatre Nova Scotia, to present the award to Joan Craig. Ms. Craig, along with her late husband Jack, has made generous donations to Nova Scotian artists and theatre companies since at least the 1980s, both as individuals and later through the Craig Foundation, which they formed in 1995. To say the Craigs have given generously is an understatement. In the last two years alone, the Craig Foundation contributed close to $100,000 to over a dozen Nova Scotian theatre companies often accompanied by a handwritten letter from Joan wishing you success. A donation from the Craigs has often been the first major donation to small and emerging companies, opening doors to securing significant and stable funding for their work. Joan's passion has not only been in financial support, however. The Craigs were the original founders of the Provincial Autism Center, now known as Autism Nova Scotia and they have remained active and enthusiastic advocates for making theater and performance accessible to all. With Joan's support, Neptune partnered with Autism Nova Scotia to present its first relaxed performances in 2018, a practice which has continued with several relaxed performances a year, allowing those with sensory sensitivities to enjoy the magic of live theater. The Craigs are both members of the Order of Canada, and have also been major contributors to Symphony Nova Scotia, the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia, the Craig Gallery at Alderney Landing, and Canada's first research chair in autism at Dalhousie University. They have been beneficiaries of many awards, honorary degrees, and accolades. In the words of Ken Schwartz, one of many who nominated her for this award, I have honestly never known anybody who gave so much to our community and asked for so little in return. It staggers me. 
Joan Craig did not give money to professional theater because she wanted her name on a building or undue attention. She gave because she loved the art of theater and she wanted to see it flourish in Nova Scotia. For her tireless work, support of thousands of artists on hundreds of projects, helping build our community into the rich tapestry it is today, I am honored to present this award to Joan Craig. Congratulations, Joan. Well, first of all, I would like to thank everyone for um, bestowing a spray down or on me. It's a, a lovely surprise and a great uh, event for the, uh, for the Craig Foundation. I, I've been interested in um, trying to um, support groups all around the province. Uh, the Craig Foundation is not a big foundation, but uh, we believe in uh, supporting little theatres all around. And um, for instance, we have a theatre in the deck uh, just started with mother and daughter. We have a theatre on the Ganesh and, uh, and uh, theater, the uh, Two Planks and a Passion in, in Wolfville, or Canning, I should say. And, uh, we're very, very proud that they've done so well and are doing so well. And uh, I, I just think uh, Heligonians are so lucky, Nova Scotians are so lucky to be able to walk out their front door and walk to a live theater. And for instance, we have in Halifax, of course, Neptune Theater, which uh, started the year we moved to Halifax. And it's been a great drawing card for not only local people, but for visitors and for tourists as well. And, and then we have the, the uh, Shakespeare by the Sea and, and Zutha Circus. Uh, I still call it Zutha Circus, uh, a name I love, and to be in uh, theater and so forth. And uh, I just think that um, they're all doing such great jobs. I absolutely love to get the year end reports and to read how successful the theaters have been. And I, uh, want to congratulate everyone winning this year. Thank you so much once again for this wonderful. I'm very humble and uh, humbled and very honored to receive this special award. Thank you. And we're yeah. back. It's us. It's us again. Hello. Uh, now, you've been sitting around watching this for a while. You've been like, oh, I want to watch all the action, but I also want to go to the kitchen, grab a drink, maybe get some more snacks. So uh, before you do that, we're going we're gonna to check in with uh, our uh, Merit Red Carpet host, Avery Jean Brennan. Uh, and then after that, we're going to call some people in the audience, check in on our, our, our wonderful theater community, and you know, use that time if you want to to go grab a drink, use the bathroom, do your thing. But first, uh, Oh, I gotta hit, I gotta dial one first. Can you remember this number? Uh, no. Yeah. Well, let's try. Okay, uh, two, five, uh, I'm not gonna say it. I'll, five, I'm five, not gonna five. Say it. I shouldn't say this Great. number. Um, um, one, two, I can't say it. Don't say the number, Henry. Uh, because you don't wanna give away someone's number on the internet. No. It's a hard thing to remember. Hello! I almost gave away your number on the internet, but then I didn't. Oh my gosh, that's so kind of you. <laughs> yeah, I realized that you, I forgot. Sometimes you forget what's happening. Uh, how, how's it going? It's great, how are you? We're doing well, we're doing well. Hi, uh, Regine, it's Kat. Maybe you've seen oh, me. Hi. Uh, you keep, hi, you, you keeping up at home? You seeing all the action? I am, I'm loving it. I, just, I gotta say, as I stand on this red carpet, the one thing that I can say for certain and it's really keeping me at peace <laughs> that I really want everyone at home to know and be sure of in these really difficult and dark times is that I really, honestly, and truly look incredible. You, yeah, you truly do. You really do. On that, do. we can all agree. Yes. Bringing it every day, 100%. You can hear it the sound of my voice, like how good I look. Like, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's so good. It's good. I gotta say. <laughs> Heck yeah! I'm looking at your outfits right now. How are we doing? Um, how are we? So how are we doing? How are we? How are okay, we? Okay, I'm gonna go one at a time. Okay. Okay, yeah. Starting with Kat McCormick. Right. Perfection. Ten I out of ten. Say, Thank you. Well, yes, you are literally perfect. I want to say you look like a sparkling sensation, like a sparkling water of perfection. <laughs> Stop it! <You're> sparkling water. <laughs> I accept. No, no, I like. I love black and silver together, and I have to say, especially, I love this blazer. In these times, high visibility is very important. Yeah. Look. 
you're going to catch everyone's attention. You're going to catch the spotlight. You're going to catch the taxi. Everyone is going to see yes. you. Yes. Oh, look, I'm not taking no taxis today, honey. <laughs> well, no, 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 like, please no one take a taxi. But no. when we're all allowed outside again, you know, in several years, you'll be able to. <laughs> yeah. Bury me in this. Henry. Yes. Henry, I got to say, I love brown and navy together. Thank you. Um, love, especially with the white and the shirt and the, like the alphabet on it there to remind us all like sing the alphabet song when you wash your hands oh hey yeah that's I exactly love... what i was going for oh good this is like it's like a health psa like in an outfit I, i'd like to think it. of myself as a health psa as a human being yes exactly i've like, often thought that more like the henry um <laughs> i have to say i also love the scrabble pin oh yeah you're wearing it's a little staple I do one thing to say though is that it is upside down Oh, yeah, no, uh, that's, it's resting. <laughs> it's always upside down. It always, like, finds its way. It's upside down. The Shame. point's got to go on the bottom of the tile, not on the top. But, but, you know, I'm choosing to look at it as if it's a metaphor for how kind of upside down our world is right now. Yes, thank you. Uh, truly. Truly is it deep. is. deep. <laughs> Avery Jean. <laughs> wow. I mean, silver lining, but I assume it's also a cat's blazer. Oh, uh, hey, look at that. Yes, it is. And one more. Oh, tie it in. Um, if you sent me a photo of your shoes. Yes, we did. We sent you a photo of our shoes. I have one question. Uh huh. These shoes. Who are you running from? <laughs> Who I'll, I'll start out? this off. I really don't run. run. These are just for show. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, you both wore shoes just, just like for activities, for running, for going on the go. And listen, like, I am someone who fully 100% like I fully support flats at a formal event but just like yeah. Yeah, and already. oh Avery Jean looks like we lost Avery Jean <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> <that's okay. laughs> oh no <laughs> listen, like, listen I used to be essentially no flats allowed at any time but honestly I did learn about myself and my ankles and so I do appreciate this part of your looks as well it's just yeah, we, we didn't really, uh, we, I, I honestly didn't think that the camera would get below the knee, so I'm... Yeah, uh, look, we yeah. went yeah. too very... You chose to send me this photo. Yeah, this you is true. This is true. We wanted, we wanted, we wanted to give to you a, a full, a full yes. preview so you had time to think about the entire outfit that we got <laughs> going on. You know what? You gave me a lot of time to think about it, and I'm coming in here with this read, and these shoes... <laughs> hmm. I mean, like, at least they're color-coordinated to your outfits. Uh, hey, you. hey, we, we try our best. Like you did, like it's white and navy for Henry. It's I got black right. hat. I even have the coffee stain to match with the and wood. Speckled. Is this You know what? Actually, you know, positive back back to positivity on these. Talking about how we're not taking taxis anymore, we're not taking public transit. You're yeah. gonna have to walk home after this. So, like, these are the shoes you want to walk home in. Again, the glitz and the glam, Avery Jean. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for your hot, hot takes. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing uh, you out there on the red carpet and seeing uh, how everyone else's looks are, are going to come together. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Happy, happy merits, Avery Jean. Happy merits, everyone, and God bless us, one and all. <laughs> Wait, that's not how the line goes. I don't. I haven't seen Scrooge in years, so like I don't actually know how it goes. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Avery Jean. Jean. Merry Christmas. Do <laughs> uh, you want to call anyone else while we while we uh, while people are waiting? We see a little uh, phone friends intermission. Um, phone friends intermission. Let's see. Let's play a little game called Who Answers When Cat McCormick Calls. Because I'll tell you what. If you know me, you know that Cat McCormick is not calling. Let's call a little idiot I like to call. <laughs> Stuart is here, you're live at the Merits. Hey, How Stuart, are you doing? Are you watching the Merits from home? How's it going? Okay, what is it? <laughs> so here we are. We are live at the Merits. Are you and Jimmy watching from home? What are you wearing? I'm here with Henry. We are very excited to hear from you. You are live across the country and on all of YouTube. Tell me, Stuart, oh, what has been your favorite part of these Merits so far tonight? I personally thought it was very funny when Henry did the bit where he um, fell down the stairs holding the tray of teacups. He's not watching. And every single one of them smashed. Yeah. And yes. all the tea just scalded him all over the place. Yes. Yeah. And he was crying and crying, and then he was vomiting, and then he shit himself. Yeah. You know, we almost cut that part, but yeah. uh, I'm glad I kept it. Well, yeah. you know what? Stuart Legere, 
Thank you so much for being here. This has been a real thrill. Thank you for continuing to support our community in all the ways that I assume you do. This is a real pleasure. <laughs> all right. Love you all. <laughs> Love you, Stubby. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, he was probably making uh, bread. That he wasn't, was he wasn't, uh, a success. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Anyone else? Should we bring it on into yeah. Ken Schwartz? How's Ken doing? We got. We muted Ken, so. Oh, yeah, we muted Ken. We're just living it up. Again, if you want to use the bathroom, now is the time. Ken Schwartz, what do you think about life? How's we're bringing him over Ken, on. Uh, we're, we're watching. We're can we watch zoom in on this? This is the predator. No, don't talk about my laptop. Let's talk about Ken. Can you? You got the thing. It it's going great. How are you doing? How are you doing over there? Well, this is a very interesting marriage to produce. I have to say, it's um, it's more comfortable for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm here with. Uh, actually, I'm here with uh, with this guy right here. Oh. This, uh, this is my dog Snoopy. He's really happy right now because he doesn't understand why we're all at home with him 24 hours a day. And uh, he's real happy. Yeah, if there's any winners, uh, but and it's the pets for it's sure, pets, there's anyone yeah. who's winning. My cat is like, yeah, why aren't you an outdoor human anymore? 100% of the time. You guys are doing really great. Oh, thanks. It's, it's good to have live, live <laughs> feedback. It's yeah. important. Yeah, thanks yeah. for the direction. Yeah. Do we, uh, you, know, let, you know, I just want to take this moment, though, to say that all the stuff that people are saying online right now, just ignore that. Yeah, we're gonna, we're, we, we haven't looked once. We were too busy reading awards. Oh. And you know what? <laughs> Even afterwards, don't look. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a day or there, two. There's truly only two losers here tonight, and it's you and I. Yeah, we're, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And not 80% of the nominees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dad, I, I thought I told you not to look. Yeah, so sorry, so sorry. I just know. I know hey. what's happening out there. Well, oh, we're going to put you down, Ken. I assume everyone's gotten their bathroom break in, so yeah, we're going to get right back into this. All right. All right. We're going to so mute much. you as you deserve. Oh, jeepers. Zara Choral Theater. And the winner for Outstanding Original Score is... Alan Cole and Ken Schwartz, Frankenstein by Fire, Two Blanks in a Passion Theater. Whoa. Congratulations. Ken couldn't read your time, we've got a few. Yep, he could not read I see him trying to speak, but we cannot hear you, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bend up, 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 up
Uh, the more I get involved in this community, uh, the more I realize that the director is responsible not only for how all the work comes together on stage, but also how that work is explored and acknowledged in its more vulnerable early stages in the rehearsal room. And a really good director always finds a way to bring every member of the team together to create a total gazapkinsberg. 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 I said bless you. And here are the nominees for Outstanding Direction. Pamela Halstead, Bed and Breakfast with Ship's Company Theater. Anthony Black, The Bridge, 2B Theater and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Laura Bingo Cram, The Children, Keep Good Theater Company. Kimberly Rampersad for The Color Purple, Neptune Theater. And Heidi Malazdruich, He'd Be Your Mother's Father's Cousin at Theater Redact. And the winner is... Kimberly Rampersad for The Color Purple at Neptune Theater! shows to move us, the people on stage need to move. Indeed. Sometimes that movement needs to be heightened to a dance or more. Mm -hmm. Choreograph chore choreograph choreographers, choreographers yes. show us how our bodies can add a new level to the stories we tell on stage. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Choreography. Veronique McKenzie, Ben Hur, Festival and Ganesh Summer Theatre. Veronique McKenzie, The Children, Keep Good Theatre Company. Tracy Fennis, Miss and Me, Eastern Front Theater. Stephanie Graham, Peter Pan, Neptune Theater. Serene Fox, Rings Through Water, Zara Coral Theater. And the winner for Outstanding Choreography is... Tracy Fennis, Miss and Me, Eastern Front Theater. Bravo. Sometimes somebody sings a song and it makes everyone want to sing along. And sometimes those singers need direction, guidance, a backing band, and a fearless leader who holds it all together. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Musical Direction. Merlita Williams, The Bridge, 2B Theater and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Esther Horvath, Brunabar, Halifax Theater for Young People. Sean Mays, The Color Purple, Neptune Theater, Lisa St. Clair, Peter Pan, Neptune Theater, and Christina Murray, Rings Through Water, Zara Choral Theater. And the winner is Sean Mays, The Color Purple, Neptune Theater. Congratulations, Sean. Uh, now, me and my friends, uh, over at Hello City, an improv troupe, for those of you who don't know, here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, uh, we're really curious why we weren't nominated for any merits. So we put our heads together to try and figure out how we, a member, not a member of the Theatre Nova Scotia community, could win ourselves a merit. Uh, let's roll that clip. If you find out, let me know. So the merits are Theatre Nova Scotia's awards for Nova Scotia Theatre. Um, and uh, oh. Jill's nominated. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna make a video. All right. That'll happen there. And we'll probably be there watching this right now. Are we all in the frame? Where are you gonna be? Here? We're all in. I'm gonna be right there. Everyone, I cannot wait to say our acceptance speech at the merits this oh, year. Yes. 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 We, we weren't nominated as Hello City for any merits. What? We're not theater. <laughs> I don't think. I don't, I don't, what are we theater? I, I think mean, watch it, dude. We do, I don't know. Wanna, I mean, we have an audience. It's I close think. enough. Hey. We, well, nonetheless, we didn't get nominated for anything. We don't have what it takes to get nominated. Oh. All I know is that I will not rest until Hello City is nominated for a merit. Me either. I've been busting my ass. I've been yeah. busting my ass. Busting. 
Telling me that we're gonna stay up all night until we win a merit? I'm saying we're gonna stay <laughs> together. Four <laughs> seven. Here we are at the uh, start of Improv House. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna live together and then, then we're gonna try and win a merit. Yeah, I'm here, I'm all about winning. I found out what a merit was earlier today, so uh, I think treating this like a sport, sport teams get together, they live together. That's what I'm about. Yes and. <laughs> okay, that, that's all I, uh, what else? Like, yes and what though? Yes and. Yeah, and you feel? Yes! Okay, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try a different question. Uh, what kind of merit do you want to win, Peter? What kind of merit do you want to win? Yes and! Oh, yes and. Uh, I'm feeling so good. Uh, I love my friends. I can't wait to spend all my time with all my best friends. Um, life is improv, so I feel like it won't be too different than how I already live my life. What kind of merit do you want to win? I want to win one for uh, being just the best person I can be. Um, you didn't ask me, that. can you ask me that question? Yeah, what kind of merit do you want to win? Um, I want to win the, I won't, <laughs> I want to win merit, um, I want to win merit for just, for just being me. Yeah. I think that I'm pretty good at set design. I'm not a very religious man, so I don't, I don't believe in any deity per se, but I guess if I had a religion, it would be improv. So this is more like church for me and, uh, and, and kind of like a pilgrimage. So it's pretty serious. What kind of merit do you want to win? One second. Hey, Jill, which uh, merit are you nominated for? I don't want to talk about it. That one. And I can't even think about the merit right now. Right now I'm just going to like focus on what it is to be present here with all of you. Absolutely. Uh -huh. We're in it. We're in it together to That's win it. it. Uh, what? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a sad g person. But you're only 12. Oh, I'm, ha I'm a happy person. Oh, I'm an angry person. <laughs> I'm a, a confused person. Beth. Hey, Beth. Oh, hi, Beth. Hi, it's hi guys. We're all day for this. I'm gonna feel it in the morning. Freeze! Can I get a suggestion for the uh, kitchen? Submarine! Thank you. Oh, Captain! Uh, we got put these eggs in the uh, pet pe kaleidoscope. Bones away! Now this is what you call good lighting design. Just flicking all the lights on and off. Everyone. No, don't show them. <laughs> oh sweet lord, I'm gonna have myself a slice of Freeze. rice. How are are you in Sydney gonna win a merit? sun goes down, there's two boys laying in a field. One heart stopped. Oh my god, it's the saddest thing I've ever heard. I think I gotta start asking for rent. I believe in you. Hey, Colin, uh, rent's almost due. Ah, so should've said. What do I do? He should've said. Should've said. Finally, we're alone. Come to me. Peace! Uh, awards I think Sydney could win. Um, easy. Cutest. Most fun, uh, almost crawling. You can put hot dogs in the craft dinner, Mom. I'm not coming home. Hello, Dr. Bree? Yes. No, there's too much cheese on the moon. No, no, this is Henry. No, Colin, we really need some money. Should've we're said, gonna... like, you're not a dick. Steph, we're gonna get evicted. Should've said, don't... like, you love me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sad now, too. <laughs> I thought by now somebody would have. Freeze! Oh. Oh. Close the hatch! Close the hatch! You're letting all the water in! Ah, oh, sorry a little bit! Screw it nice and tight! Alright, scrub the deck, Shane! Get to pop in! Fuck you guys! Um, I don't know if I want to do improv anymore. <laughs> 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 Colin, 
this is infecting my Should've relationship. Should've said. I just think that you... <laughs> uh, Captain, we have to turn the actual stove on if we want breakfast for eggs. Eggs for breakfast. Okay, alright, it's a kitchen. It's a kitchen. I, I know, I know, I know we want to win a merit, but this, it's not, it's not a submarine. It's a submarine! It's not a submarine! It's a submarine! It's not a submarine! You know what? No, stop. That's right, I said it. No, stop. God, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my merit motherfucking mind! Turn the camera off. Just turn, turn the camera off. I love those goofballs. Uh, and let's, you know, thank you so much, everyone, for, 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 for doing that silly, silly thing. Uh, moving right along. Though they may not have as much stage time, a supporting actor plays an enormous part in the building the world of the performance and affecting change in our heroes and villains? Is that a great way to describe, like, antagonists and protagonists? Heroes and yes. villains. I wrote this very early in the morning, clearly. Once again, there are ten nominations for two winners in this category. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Actor, in a supporting role. Jim Codrington uh, as Reverend Eli in The Bridge, 2B Theater and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Daniel Ellis Samuel in The Bridge, 2B Theater and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Sophia Walker as Anna in The Bridge, 2B Theater and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Karen Birthright as Suge Avery in The Color Purple at Neptune Theater. Janelle Cooper as Sophia in The Color Purple at uh, Neptune Theater. Samantha Walks as Nettie in The Color Purple at Neptune Theater. Breton Malama as Ash in Pleasureville, Neptune Theater. Sherry Smith as Rose in Pleasureville at Neptune Theater. Jill Anderson as Pony Jones in The Realistic Joneses, Kazan Co-op. Matthew Lumley as John Jones, The Realistic Joneses in Kazan Co-op. And the winner is... <laughs> the winners are... Karen Birkwright, The Color Purple, Neptune Theater. And Janelle Cooper, The Color Purple, Neptune Theater. we give. The script defines the world we live in on stage, from our clothes to the set to the core themes we live and breathe during a rehearsal process. The playwright dares to invent or reinvent the world around them and capture a moment in time worth sharing with the world at large. Here are the nominees for Outstanding New Play by a Nova Scotian playwright. Shantae Grant, The Bridge, 2B Theatre and Neptune Theatre in association with Obsidian Theatre. Catherine Banks, In This Light, Two Planks at a Passion Theater. Daniel McIver, An Ordinary Afternoon in 1974, Mulgrave Road Theater. Jillian Clark, The Ruins, Two Planks at a Passion Theater. Dan Bray, Zomblet, The Villains Theater and Terra Novella Theater. And the winner is... Shantae Grant for The Bridge, Two B Theater and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. Congratulations. Next up, there is an excitement in the work of a new and emerging company. It can offer a sense of empathetic nostalgia for companies who have gone through similar struggles to start something new. And there is a sense that the company has something urgent to say about their art practice, either to prove what they can do or add something new to the theater scene at large. Here are the nominees for outstanding production by a new or emerging company. Bunny, Hannah Moskovich being the playwright, Highland Arts Theater being the company. The Children. Lucy Kirkwood being the playwright, Keep Good Theater being the company. Every Brilliant Thing by Duncan McMillan with Johnny Donahoe, uh, at Kick at the Dark Theater Co-op. He'd Be Your Mother's Father's Cousin, Mary Colin Chisholm, Peter Bedeck. Rings Through Water, Lisa Nason, Deantha Edmonds, Serene Fox, Christina Murray, and Jenny Trites, uh, Zara Coral Theater. And the winner for Outstanding Production by a New or Emerging Company is The Children, Keep Good Theater Company.
in the end, all of these awards added to the big finale. Oh boy. There was an incredible amount of work done this year by all of you here in the Nova Scotian theater community. Uh, I'm proud of all the things that we as a community have achieved and the things that we are striving to achieve in our futures. Uh, but for now, let's take one last look at this past year. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Production. The Bridge, Shantae Grant, 2B Theater and Neptune Theater in association with Obsidian Theater. A Brim Full of Asha by Ravi Jane, Festival Anaganish Summer Theater. The Children, Lucy Kirkwood, Keep Good Theater Company. The Color Purple by Alice Walker at Neptune Theater. In This Light, Catherine Banks, adapted from Enemy of the People, Two Planks and a Passion Theater. And the winner for Outstanding Production is... Ah! Are you ready to get it? Yes! Okay, ready? The, the Color, Color Purple, Purple Neptune Theater! Theater. about it. Oh, or don't, you know, you do you. You just do your thing. You do, you're doing your thing already. How was your night, Kat? Well, I guess we'll find out in a little over a week. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm so happy we had to do this together. True. Like, this is really nice. I mean, we don't get to work together. This is, no. a, this is us getting to work together. You know, it's sometimes hard to, oh, jeez. <laughs> it's it. hard to remember, especially for those of us that, uh, that bounce from contract to contract, that this is a big extended family we're all a part of. And I know I wrote this speech a little bit beforehand, so yes, we do kind of feel the love as we connect to each other through this social distancing. Um, you know, we are a big family. We got those weird cousins who do the silly voices. We got the scary nibblings who light things on fire. We got the wittiest aunts in the world, and those sexy uncles with those incredibly well-crafted goatees. Sexy uncles. Mm. Our grandparents could share stories so good people travel all across the province and pay good money just to listen. Or at least go to their YouTube link and listen in online and donate to their GoFundMe. And you know, just like a good family, we all get on each other's nerves. Uh, especially when we're all so passionate about what makes us a family. We're all so passionate about this theater thing that we all do. So no matter where you are tonight, who you're sitting with, who you gossip with, who you commiserate with, remember, we're all one big family here. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into the uh, Merit Awards. Uh, Gary, take it away. got a friend in me you got a friend in me you got troubles well I got them too there isn't anything I wouldn't do for you we stick together and we'll see it through you've got a friend in me yeah you got a friend in smarter than I am, bigger and stronger too, maybe, but none of them will ever love you the way I do, it's me and you folks, and as the years go by, our friendship will never die, you're gonna see we're a community.
You still with us? Uh, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, we're, 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 we're wrapping up. So we want to say a few thank yous. This is our, our rolling of credit. Uh, it's been quite in the shot. Thank you so much, Garrett Garver, for coming in last minute and building us an entire set. Yeah. Uh, he's a hero. Uh, I'm so sorry, but someone is typing very loudly. Oh, uh, I can't. Don't worry, okay. Don't worry, okay. <laughs> Just, let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Yeah. Did, yeah. Garrett did this whole set, except for these cat masks. Uh, that was all us. Sorry, Avery Jean, we know you hate the musical cats. Uh, all the wonderful uh, uh, discounts on, on all the liquor uh, from Garrison, Lake City, uh, Compass Distillers. Cheers, truly, really wonderful stuff. It really it made the show what it is. I guarantee yeah. it would not be the show it is without that stuff. Yes. Uh, uh, and also, Nova Scotia Gaming and Support for Culture Program. Yeah, thank you. They will make thank you again. And maybe you made some food at home along the um, um, the um, Grace, Grace McDonald. Yes. Uh, Sherry Smith-Dotter released some, some recipes for us to cook our own parties with. And did you share those parties on Instagram? It's over now. I, I can go look so. at the Instagram. Yes. We're, We're looking gonna... forward to seeing you rip us apart on the internet. Yeah, honestly. It's the one thing that I have to, to keep me going through it all, <laughs> is the fact that you didn't like what I did. <laughs> Don't forget to love each other. Uh, we love you all so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. Goodbye. Bye.